What's going on guys, it's Jay here, back at again with another food review. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you have any thoughts, comments, opinions, just leave it down in the comment section down below and we can banter back and forth. Anyways, for today's food review, we're going to be reviewing a pepperoni pizza from Little Caesars. I got the box right here. And just open this up for you guys to see. So, Stay tuned for that, okay guys? Ooh, look at that. Ooh.
Alrighty guys, so this is just a summary of the pepperoni pizza from Little Caesars there. Um, so just looking at the pizza itself or the pie when you get it, um, when you open the the cardboard box, you can tell automatically that it's a decently cheesy marinated pizza like I remember reviewing the uh, Canadian pizza from Pizza Hut and when I got the pizza I opened the box it was kind of dry this one it was a little more it looked like it had more sauce it looked like it had more cheese um, the pepperoni was very greasy which was good biting into the sandwich uh, biting into the pizza itself you could tell right away that it wasn't fully cooked because when you bite into the pizza it's a little doughy not too doughy where it's like super chewy but it was doughy enough and then the crust on the outside it had a crispy crunch to it as well so just those it was a fine balance between the chewiness of the dough on the other side and then a crispy outside um, when you bite into the pizza itself though, uh, you're expecting there to be a lot of cheese and a lot of flavor and stuff like that just because it was so greasy. But in this pizza, the marinara sauce is very overpowering. It's kind of got like a peppery taste to it. Uh, it's not too cheesy. They just put just the right amount of cheese where it's greasy enough to slide down your throat. And <clears throat> I think the greasiness from the pepperoni helps a lot too. Uh, but this pizza, a lot of the flavor comes from uh, the marinara sauce. So it's kind of like a peppery, like hot kind of pizza. Uh, I think you could use more cheese. But other than that, I think I'll give this a rating of an 8 out of 10. Just because... Uh, the look of it, it looks really good. It's got a nice balance between doughy and crunchy. Uh, the flavor was hot, which I like. Most people might not like that, so just be mindful of it when you're eating because of the marinara sauce. And it's super cheap, so I give points for that. The only thing that loses points for me is the fact that... Uh, the fact that it's a little on the thicker side, so I was chewing a little more, so I prefer thin crust pizza, but this one, I just took it for how, how it is, how they make it, so there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, I think that they could add more cheese, that's why I knocked off a few points. Uh, in terms of value, it's really good, uh, 650 for, I'd say this is a medium, so taste and cost. Overall rating for the pizza, 8 out of 10. Uh, it wasn't a dry pizza. It wasn't burnt. It was just cooked just the right amount, where it was like doughy and crispy. Um, had a little spicy flavor to it. I think they could add more pepperonis. I think they can add more cheese. But for 650, you can't really go wrong. Uh, that's just my analysis of the Little Caesars pepperoni pizza. Uh, if you haven't tried it already, definitely check it out and if you don't know what Little Caesars is it's a North American uh, pizza franchise I'm not too sure if they have it in Europe or Australia <clears throat> it's like those big box stores similar to like Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's and all those things so uh, if you have it if you have it close to your area check it out if you don't uh, and you're flying to North America definitely check it out and yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And until next food review, guys, uh, peace.